Hi everyone, today we're going to learn a little bit about the artist Laurel Birch. Laurel Birch was an American artist born in California on New Year's Eve in 1945 and died in 2007 at the age of 61. She suffered from a rare bone disease called osteopetrosis, which made her bones very fragile. She loved creating artwork and began by making her own jewelry. People liked her work and wanted to buy it, so she started selling. As time went on and her popularity grew, she began painting these bright, stylistic, cheery animals that she's known for today. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to draw a couple animals in that stylistic Laurel Birch style. I have a picture of a horse up on my Chromebook, and I'm going to look at the horse's head first. And I actually googled um, a horse with its head turned back. So I'm going to start with the head and how it's coming down and where it has its mouth open, I'm going to kind of leave its mouth open a little bit like that. And I'm thinking of this as almost like a, kind of like a triangular shape with a little bump for the cheek. Okay, now looking at my photo, I can see the horse's ear kind of coming up like this. And then back. So it's kind of like I'm drawing it I'm looking at is if everything is a shape. So it's very simple. I'm going to turn, bring its head around like this. Okay. And then let's make it a little darker. And then I'm going to put a little nostril in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the edge here and I'm going to twist that line around, bring it back up, and I'm going to break up some space right before where I would put the eye in. So the eye is going to go somewhere in here. So one thing that Laurel Birch does is she breaks up the space within the animal. When we're making the eye, even though this horse's head is turned, kind of reminds me of like a human eye and that sort of Egyptian feel because the eye actually wouldn't be round like this. It would actually look more like a triangular um, shape if I was drawing it realistic. Okay, now I'm looking at the horse's neck and how it comes down. And I'm gonna bring this just kind of right down like that. Okay. The horse's back, I can see where it's kind of like right above where my nostril is. And I'm just going to give a little line like that and come down and around and stop. Okay. Now I can see a lot of muscles in the horse's chest over here. So I am going to I'm going to bring this down and then I'm going to have a leg come off from there. Any area that you kind of see like a knee or the nostril you might want to keep that one piece. Okay. Now I've got another leg coming from over here. Okay. And this is that really kind of muscular part of the horse. And it's coming down into a leg here. Okay. 
and the rest of its body comes up and curve. And I'll just bring this back leg down. With me. Okay, and then I have that back leg. Okay. Now the really neat thing about horses, and you can kind of get really creative with, is the mane. So the mane and the tail. So your horse might not have this really free-flowing mane, but you can do that. So kind of think about how you might want to put some of this really wild hair. I'm starting with it thick when I put the other first piece and then I'm starting the area thick here towards the base of its head and then going thinner. Okay, so I'll start up here with another thick piece of hair rolling around thick up here and as you come down you're going to get thinner and thinner and touch. So a couple of these would be really nice to make. Okay. And we could do some on the tail as well. So if I move this over a little bit. Think about your tail and how your tail can kind of whoosh around. And again, we're going to start a little, little bit thinner than over there, but and then thick to thin. Okay, and separate some space. All right, so now we have a horse. So now I'm going to show you how to draw one of the most popular animals I think Laurel draw, drew was the cat. So I'm going to start with that very stylistic face, which you would start with like almost like a W. So this is kind of like what I've got to, to start. Okay. Now I'm going to put the little chin in there. And we're going to go for the nose. So she's got this kind of like triangular or trapezoid nose right in here. And you can actually see on your photo of your cat that your eyes are going to go straight up, they'll go straight up from the nose and then you're going to kind of curve around and I just go right to the edge like that because I think she does that in a lot of her pieces. Okay and then the eyes are going to be put right in here and if you remember Laurel Birch does these very stylistic almost human-like eyes so you can make them however you want have a little lid on them maybe it's a little sleepy cat um, however you want to do that kind of style to make it yours. All right, I'm going to come right up from there and go right into the ear. Okay, and then I'm going to come up from my other side and do the same thing. Right up and right into the forehead there. Okay, now to make the cat's body come right down from the side here, and this cat's paws are on this side of its body, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit, and sometimes our cats are really long, they're kind of long, tall, chic kind of cats, but 
I'm just gonna give him a little paw that kind of comes down right there. And I'm gonna to say to myself that this is where the line is where I'm gonna stop with everything. So I want that to be kind of straight across. Now I'm gonna come down from the other side and I'm gonna bring this back because this cat is sitting and it has its back kind of curled around like this. So we're gonna come down and we're gonna go to that line. We're gonna, before we go to that line, we're gonna to start to curl in. We're gonna to start to curl in here. And what she likes to do with these cats is have their tail right curled up in them. So if you're bringing this right down along the back, keep going around and give it a nice big curl and then stop. And then you're gonna go right back on it. Okay, and curl it right back up and it's gonna taper, which means it gets thinner as it goes back up like that. Okay, now you got that one cat paw there. You bring that up and that back paw, you can kind of bring into there. And that's it. So again, now she likes to break up spaces. So think of how you can break up some of the spaces in the cat. Uh, in its ears. You have a triangular space. However you want to do it. Um, maybe you do want a fluffy cat. You can do some sort of little fluffy type of fur on there if you wanted to. Um, so there are other things that we can kind of break up right here. Sometimes she breaks up this area in the face where the little muzzle is, um, possibly another line or something up in this area. Okay, so now we have horse and we have cat.